Hey everybody, it's Brian from Innisfil Creek Honey. Uh, I just wanted to uh, give a final update on our honey warming shed. Um, we uh, do a lot of honey and uh, I was getting sick of melting single barrels. Um, and I'm cheap because I am a beekeeper. Um, so we uh, sat down and uh, started playing around in the paper and came up with this. So what we have is a uh, six foot by six foot shed. It's got an eight foot peak in it. Um, it is very super insulated. Um, so we'll come to the door here, open it up. Uh, the door is four and a half inches thick, basically solid insulation. The walls are a uh, two by six in the center with uh, insulation stuffed in it. An inch of insulation on the inside of the uh, silver back styrofoam and an inch and a half of insulation on the outside of the styrofoam. The floor is also insulated um, fully and has uh, two sheets of three quarter inch plywood on it. Inside, um, we have the uh, hole in the back there. That's where the uh, plumbing comes through to pump the honey into the uh, bottling house. The uh, up top, uh, because I'm cheap, I uh, tried out, I put three 175 watt heat bulbs. So they're just the regular size uh, chicken heat bulbs for raising chickens. Um, also installed a recirculating fan up top. On the back wall is the uh, neat mess of wiring um, and a heat controller on the back up there. That's where you can set the temperature you want inside the honey warming shed. Um, and the temperature controller will control the lights. I also installed a 110 volt uh, sauna heater in here. I turned it on once and do not need it. Um, just those three 175 watt light bulbs up top will heat the internal shed up to above 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that mixed with the uh, circulation fan uh, heats up and melts three barrels of honey in about two and a half days. Um, it'll melt that and it was uh, negative six or seven last week and we still melted three barrels of honey in about two or three days. Um, so that's the inside. Uh, I'll take you around to the back side here just to show you what it how it works. So uh, we have the shed. The shed is sitting six or eight feet from the, the bottling house. And then we built a uh, tunnel um, I, uh, up top. And inside that tunnel, the tunnel is also insulated quite well. Runs the um, pipe that goes inside through the hole in the wall there. Um, to the inside of the bottling house and uh, I can fill up and pump the honey from the warming shed through the wall into the bottling house where we have a clean area inside so none of the debris and that from the barrels or, or that will ever get inside the bottling house. So anyways, uh, just wanted to give everybody an update. Uh, Brian from Innisfil Creek Honey. We are open all winter. If you ever need anything, uh, come on by, shop online. Have a great day.